Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like, where you guys to uh, the channel? It's your boy Big Dog back with another Keeping Up with the Classic. And I just recently re revisited The Karate Kid. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. I can't, I, I didn't remember anything from this movie other than Wax On, Wax Off. So I went back and revisited uh, today or yesterday. I don't know, it's four o'clock in the morning. I don't even know what time, what time it is no more. Um, anyway, it basically stars by your side. I'm going to, that's how I say his name. Okay, I, I, I've been don't ask. Uh, so it, it stars him and his mom uh, moving from Newark, New Jersey to South uh, well Southern Cal. And I don't know the difference between the two. I, I've never lived in New York. Uh, I mean Newark, New Jersey, and I've never lived on the West Coast. I, don't, I lived in Atlanta, and I lived in Louisiana, and I lived in Dallas. So I, I don't I don't know the, the how I know it's a big difference though. Southern Cal. Newark, it's like cold up there and it's just like warm down there all the time. So I don't know. But nonetheless, he uh moves into the time, meets a girl. Just so happens this girl is dating what well, used to date the like the, the, the school bully, okay? And not only is he a school bully, he knows karate, okay? And he ain't rolling with Cobra Kai and they roll deep and they whoop anybody. If you, if you ain't it's either Cobra Kai or die. That's what they was repping. Huh? They never said it. They never actually said those words. But if you like put two and two together, I'm telling you, it's gonna equal four. Cobra Kai or you die. That's that's basically what they was repping. And 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 this is crazy. It's all behind the girl. But the thing about Daya Sai, he wasn't no lame though. Like he wasn't no goofy. Like he was a legit one. He was a super cool dude, real a player type. You hear me? So like he was like, I ain't finna bag down. It is what it is. So he basically going to war with the whole Cobra Kai. We just keeping the keeping it a buck. And Cobra Kai, them boy ruthless. They sensei John Crease. He ain't playing no game. He 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 he, 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 he the one who put it in their head. Cobra Kai die. You hear me? But um, my boy that die uh, Ends up meeting Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi basically teach him the ways of karate, a different way of karate. You know what I'm saying? Karate is meant for defense. And you know, it's like enter this tournament. And he's like, hey, leave him alone and just wait till the tournament. And then we, yeah, you can, we can duke it out there. And Mr. Miyagi trains my boy. Tell your son! And then, hey, man, the, the history, we already know what the history of that. You know, I haven't, like I said, I haven't, it's been a while since I've seen it, so I pretty much forgot, like, what happened. But, um, rewatching it, I'm like, yeah, this movie, this movie, it moved holds up tremendously. Okay? One, because I think Daniel and Daniel Sai! It's not like the typical protagonist you normally see a lot of times in movies that, especially came out during this time, where he just like some. Dude gets picked on a lot. He's super nerdy. He has to go through this whole like the transformation. He was already kind of like, you know, kind of like a stud in his own right. Well, just not, just not necessarily. He just wasn't the shot type. He wasn't like the typical, typical protagonist. Like the guy had like a chip on his shoulder already. And like, like I said, he won no, he won no stain. So him. Getting the training and stuff, and, and like take basically taking on the entire Cobra Kai was like super entertaining. And plus, he was like dealing with other stuff. Like the guy doesn't really have a father around. Um, he got like uprooted to this whole new place, and then like it just doesn't feel right because it's like he he's he's talking to this girl. Her people got money, so you know they looking down on them. You know what I'm saying? They they they're being polite because of their daughter, but. Like, and like he had, he dealing with like self esteem issues because like he doesn't think a girl like Alec can like like him because like where she comes from, um, and I definitely I mean, just being real, I think a lot of us have experienced that before. Well, if you're from my neck of the woods, there's there's had to be there's always that time when you'll meet a chick you who, well I know I I just was like kind of in high school you meet a chick. I met a chick who was um, four years older than me, and her daddy owned the Rolls Royce. You don't think I felt like that? I was always like, uh, man, this this is not going. It's not going. It's not going anywhere. This ain't nobody like 
this one. You know what I'm saying? He probably laughing at me. I love the charity case. All that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just the phone around in your head. So, and I, and that's one of another things he had to deal with. It just was a lot. The, the movie holds up tremendously. The fights, to me, after watching Cobra Kai, like the fights in this are kind of like the same. I watched this first, then I watched Cobra Kai, but I was just like, yeah. The fights aren't really they're too much different, you know what I'm saying? It's like my boy Danny. That your son! My bad. He was just kind of like flickering a lot the time when he was fighting. I was like, okay, uh, somebody's going to steal off on you. But um, Mr. Miyagi is great, teaching you like life lessons. Karate Kid, great. I, I was watching, I'm hyped. You know, yeah, it is, and I don't know. Y'all ain't never watched the movie or nothing with me, like, especially at like home. Well, right, y'all never watch a movie with me anyway. But basically, what I'm saying is like, when I'm watching something, I'm in it. Like, I'm, unless it sucks. But if I'm in it, I'm really, in. I'm, I'm standing up, clapping, slapping the wall, let's go, all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm at a, I watch movies like, I treat movies like sporting events, okay? Like, that's, that's how I treat And so, watching this, seeing him go through the tournament, you know what I'm saying? See when he got injured. Oh, uh, the, the guy, the cheap shot, I stand up, you know what I'm saying? You know me, cussing. I don't want to say exactly what I said because I, I cuss too much as it is. So I, I just, I, I'm just, I ain't going to say what I said. But, like, I'm slapping the TV, let's go. He went in and he ended up winning. I'm slapping the TV, let's go, talking. You know what I mean? So, when a movie made me do that, it's good. Especially an older one. You know what I'm saying? Going back to these movies is, is, is always dope. So, yeah. My review for Cobra Kai season one will be up soon, so y'all check that out after y'all finish shaking this out, or at, or just wait on it. It'll be up maybe an hour or two after this. Okay, so just give me a little time. Give me a little time. But uh, you guys let me know what, think, what y'all thought about the Karate Kid. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Wait a oh, okay, my bad. I thought they said the budget was a hundred million. That was the box office. I'm about to say, ain't no way this movie was cost hundred million dollars. Like what? Everybody was doing CGI back in the day. Oh, what the hell? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm sure I'll later. Right. Peace.